Komodo dragons are the world's heaviest lizards you can see today, mostly seen in Indonesia. But that might not be where these giant scary creatures really came from. Scientists found their fossils in eastern Australia, and what's interesting is they were about 4 million years old. They're dominant in the food chain and can take down really big animals like deer, water buffalo, and wild boar. Komodo dragons will basically eat almost anything that comes their way. Since Komodo dragons are not so picky when it comes to their meal, people believed for a long time that their bites can be fatal because of the number of bacteria in their mouths. In reality, they're one of the few venomous lizards on Earth. Gariol really looks like a creature you'd see walking by dinosaurs and fighting for its spot in the food chain in prehistoric times. These fellas have been on our planet for tens of millions of years. Look at its long, narrow mouth and sharp teeth. Its snout might look odd at first, but it's perfect to catch the food they like the most, fish. They're also good parents, even the most dedicated ones in the world of reptiles. Females lay their eggs in multiple nests close together and keep them safe from the river and potential predators. When young sense danger, they will rush to the nearest gharial and even clamber onto their heads to hide from what's chasing them. Sturgeon looks like that simple primitive ancient fish for a reason. It's been on our planet for at least 250 million years. Its fossils are all over the northern hemisphere. You can mostly find them in big freshwater rivers and lakes, but some species tend to travel to the oceans and return to lakes and rivers only when they need to breed. On average, they live 50 to 60 years and grow up to 18 feet. Many of them leap out of the water and make a loud splash. You can hear on the surface even if you're a half a mile away. No one knows why. It could be the way they communicate with other sturgeons. Selenodon. It's a venomous mammal with a chunky body and short legs. It's been living in the Caribbean area for more than 70 million years. They can climb but still spend most of their time on the ground. There, they move in an irregular path with a waddling gait. But when necessary, they can run pretty fast for short distances. They have a special way of communication. Chirps, twitters, clicks, squeaks, and squeals. They have specific skin glands which give them a goat-like odor. At night, they like to search for invertebrates. They probe soil and leaf litter soil using their long snout. It's flexible, similar to our shoulder joint. This way, they're more mobile and they can explore narrow crevices while using their sharp claws to help them to tear apart rotten tree trunks. Oh yeah, snails, lizards, frogs, land crabs, bird eggs, they're welcome on the menu as well. The sea lamprey is an ancient parasitic fish that lives in the western and northern Atlantic Ocean. Because of their body shape, people sometimes inaccurately describe them as lamprey eel. This species has remained mostly the same for over 340 million years and have gone through at least four big extinction events. They have a pretty well-developed sense of smell. That's why they use odors to communicate with each other and navigate their way through. Check out their teeth. They have at least 12 rows of them arranged in circles. A single nostril lies at the top of their heads. They're like sea vampires since they suck other fish's blood. Some lamprey species are non-carnivorous, and what's crazy, they don't eat at all. They just live off the energy they stored back in times when they were young and were eating. You must admit, Echidna is a real cutie. A bit bizarre and a walking contradiction, though. First, they look like a mix between an anteater, a badger, and a porcupine. They are mammals, but a primitive type that lays eggs. The only such type of living mammal we usually call monotremes is a platypus. Also, echidnas are also classified as short or long-beaked, even though they don't have beaks at all, just fleshy noses that can be rather short or long. They're covered in hollow spines, and these are actually modified hairs. Fur between the spines is what gives them insulation. 
They look weird, but it obviously works for them since they've been unchanged for tens of millions of years. Alligator gar is a curious animal that looks more like it's mythical than real. It's not a mixture of a koi carp and a crocodile, and it's not related to alligators. But check its sharp teeth and crocodilian head. It's easy to see where the name comes from. They're more than 150 million years old, and this is the biggest fish species in North America that spends nearly all of its time in fresh water. They can tolerate brackish water and even stop by for salt waters, but swamps, bayous, lakes, and the sluggish pools of big rivers are still their favorites. They're not dangerous for humans. Some call the shoebill stork the most terrifying bird in the world. One thing they could certainly win is definitely a staring contest. They can stand literally motionless for hours, holding their bills down against their neck. And their golden eyes certainly tell you they're up to no good. They're known for their strong bite. These birds may be more related to pelicans than storks, since their vocal organs are similar. Babarusas, sometimes even called prehistoric pigs. In the Malay language, their name means pig deer. Check out their barrel-shaped stocky bodies, somehow perfectly balanced on delicate legs that look like deer's legs. Males have large tusks that grow upwards through their snouts and at some point curve back towards the head. There are cave drawings that depict them, which are over 35,000 years old. Unlike regular pigs, babarusas rarely dig or root into the ground. They're missing what's called a rostral bone in their nose. That's the bone that keeps the snout stable and rigid. Without it, these animals can't pierce the hard dirt. Chinese giant salamander is a funny-looking creature that's been roaming our planet for 170 million years already. We're talking about the biggest amphibian in the world. It can grow to be bigger than some people, up to 6 feet long with a weight of 110 pounds. Their tail may make up more than half the body length. It's hard to notice them because this specific color helps the animal to blend in with the floor of the rivers where they usually live. Tuatara might look like a regular iguana at first, but it's literally a living fossil since it's been around for about 250 million years. Even its body shows its ancient history. There's a primitive third eye on the top of their head. It's hard to see it though, especially because some Tuataras have scales over it. Scientists think it's some sort of an ancient light sensor. The reptiles used it to set their both seasonal and daily biological functions. Tuataras can hear sounds too, even though they don't have external ears, like modern-day reptiles. Fish hear sounds in the water in a similar way. Jellyfish have been present on our planet for over 500 million years. Yep, that means they're 250 million years older than the first dinosaurs. But their bodies are soft and almost completely water, so their fossils are really rare. The oldest one was discovered in Utah and was 505 million years old. One species of jellyfish is basically immortal. When it faces some kind of environmental stress that would mean an end of life for other jellyfish, these can just revert back to be a tiny blob of tissue. And then they develop, starting their life all over again. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.